So today we've got one of our website members, Lee Roberts, working at his iron ball striking. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more great videos like this and hit that notification bell. And if you like the video, make sure you drop the like. So we're going to help Lee out with his ball striking with his irons. But Lee, nice to see you. Yourself? Thanks for making it down here. Now, unfortunately, Andy's not here. He's not feeling too well today. And in this day and age, we have to be uh, mindful of what that could be. But thanks for making the, the effort to come and see us. What is it that we can help you with with your irons? Probably mainly peak heights okay. and uh, probably center strikes, I suppose, on the club. Okay. It's a lot of heel toe strikes. Heel and low, toe strikes, low, low ball, ball flight. Low ball flight. Yeah. And look, I know we, we're in April now when we're doing this video and it may be not so bad, but when we get to the uh, the summer and the ground gets harder, that ball coming in flat, it's going to run and bounce yeah, on, yeah. isn't it? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we've got flight scope here. I've taken some shots already, but let's just get some more anyway. You've warmed up. Let's get some data. So if we can just hit it down towards, we've got that tree at the back of the green there, we'll pick that as a spot. So we'll hit some shots. You can give me some feedback on those shots, whether you like them, whether you don't like them. <laughs> Again, thin that time. Yeah. And again, that's a, it's about target as it's just drifting off a little bit to the right, but it's definitely, they're definitely low, aren't they? Yeah, and without a doubt. The, the issue we have with these is if we look at these here, these golf balls are rolling out, you know, 10 yards in some cases, that's 30 feet of roll. That's too much when it comes to the, to getting the golf ball to stop on the greens, especially when they get a little bit firmer. That was a little bit heavy, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, and heavy was a shot that you were doing before, but you haven't actually had many of those. No, funny enough. Okay, Simple. well, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah absolutely, <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, that was always going to happen. So let's just have a look at this here. Let's just show you the video of what we've got. What notices out for me, Lee, is a lot of golfers who come and see us, they want to hit this pure strike and they want to get the shaft length forward yeah. when they're striking. And any, the majority of people watching this here will be like going out and go, well, I want to get that shaft length forward so I can strike the ball cleanly. Now, in your instance, Lee, how's about if I were to tell you that possibly you're leaning the shaft far, uh, too, too, too far forward. Yeah, too much. So if we look at this here, so I'm only going to look at the shaft at impact. So it's a little bit long, the backswing is, but again, I'm not going to mess with that too much. But if we look at you at impact there, yeah. look how much that shaft's lent forward. Yeah. Look how much your lower body is moved that, that way. way yeah. So there's a lot of your body ahead of the golf ball when you're striking it. Yeah. And even though you've got a, a game enhancement club there, a big cavity which is designed to hit the golf ball high, we can still see that Lee is going to hit the golf ball low as a result of being so far forward ahead taking of the golf ball. Taking massive amounts of loft off. Absolutely, taking massive amounts of lots off, uh, loft off the shot. So the key for me is the move in the swing is actually pretty good. Yeah. So it would be weird to say we need to create more loft by flicking the hands under and trying to put more loft on the club that way. So what I am going to do, and this might be the lesson right here, folks, Let's have a go moving the ball a little bit further forward and let's okay. just see what happens. Yeah. So I'm going to just shout out some numbers here on what I was seeing. There's a few other things we could do, but this is my first port of call. So I would say on the last shot you hit, it was 71 feet. Let me just have a quick look at what the, the average height is on your shots. So the average height on your shots is 61 feet. Okay. Okay. okay so the other number I'm looking at here is the descent number. Okay, yeah. so your average descent is 35 degrees. Right. So it's coming in at an angle of 35 degrees. Yeah, which is quite... I'd like to get it near a 45. Yeah. So we need to get it 10 degrees. So basically, if it's coming in like this at 35 degrees, it's hitting the ground, it's going to run. If we can get it coming in at a steeper angle, so it goes higher, comes in at a steeper angle around about 45 degrees, it's going to be better for you. So let's just have a go. Point. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just have a go at putting the ball forward. Is that right there? Yeah, that's good. And what I'm going to do for the first shot, I'm not going to make sure you hit it out of a really bad light. <laughs> I, want to, I want to make it a little <laughs> bit easier little for bit. him. So we're going to get it slightly sitting up. So how much further forward in your stance would you say that feels? About a ball. About a ball? Perfect. Let's go with that then. And it looks about a ball as well. And we can measure it with alignment sticks and things like that. That's fine to do. Okay, a little bit thin again. So let's yeah. go again. And look, there's reasons why this thin and fat shot happen as well. Yeah. But I want to see what happens when we can just move the ball forward and seeing if we just allow for that shaft lean by just moving the ball further forward in the stance. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Two shots, eh? That was a lot higher. Oh my goodness. Okay. They're they pretty good, these lessons. Right, <laughs> 89 feet, much yeah. better. Wow, much better. Attack, descent angle, what did I say I wanted? 45? You're wrong. Unfortunately, you're out. 44.5. Okay, 0.5 out. Okay, 0.5 out. But that's, what was it, 30 before? Was it, uh, no, 10, 35, wasn't it? 35. So it's like 10 degrees 
steeper the golf ball coming into the ground, just from moving the golf ball further forward in the stance. Now, point five of a degree out, we have to get Andy back, won't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. We're getting back for that plus five, uh, point five degrees. So, my question to you is: Are you comfortable moving the golf ball forward, being as though you are actually? Here's my other question. Then, actually, first, by moving the golf ball further forward, would you be scared of hitting the ground before the ball or not? No. There we go. That's perfect then. Because sometimes you need to, we need to understand this and you might be watching this video yourself and going, well, I do something similar to Lee, but if I move the ball forward, I just, I'm scared I'm going to hit the ground before the ball. Well, what actually happens is by moving it further forward, you will instinctively change how you approach into the ground anyway, because that ball's further forward. So it feels like you might duff it, but you, you won't. So look, <coughs> Lee can still duff it, of course, but Without doubt. <laughs> it, isn't, it isn't really going to happen as a result of the ball being I'd further I'd forward. I'd feel more like I would thin it more than... It's indeed, yes. It than... Yeah. Yeah, you definitely, and that is something that could happen. But hopefully, what do you think will happen to the thin though now with it further forward? Go lower. <laughs> or? A bit higher. There we go, or higher. So what, literally, literally, it will actually go a little bit higher, the thin wall. So it'll yeah. still be thin, it'll still be too low, but it'll, it'll be a bit higher than what it was before. And there you go again. That's beautiful. 77 feet on the height, 40 degrees, 40.5 degrees, the, the descent. Still not bad. Really, really good. Really, really good. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me video you first of all from the front on. This is interesting, actually. Lee, actually, from um, from our private Facebook group, we had a, a Saturday swing fix where Lee was actually shanking it, and we got rid of that with a different drill. So it is in there. Oh, beautiful. So good. That is a lot higher. Really, really good. So if we look at this here, so if we just look at the video, what I'm really looking for now is... We know the ball's forward. I still want to see that there is shaft lean because we need that shaft yeah. lean still. We still want the shaft leaning forward. We just don't need it as far forward as it was before. And there it that. is. That's beautiful. I mean, that's, that's a picture yeah. perfect, that is. So shaft is leaned forward. Yeah. But if imagine where the ball was before, yeah, that's... it's going to be even more leaned forward, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. So see if this makes sense as well. This is really important. So one number I haven't mentioned yet is the attack angle. So when Lee was hitting shots, his club head was descending when he's hitting the ball, striking it well, but it going too low. That attack angle was like between five and seven degrees downward. So the club is traveling down five or seven degrees down when it strikes the golf ball. Yeah. Here's the shot that we had, the, sec the first shot that you hit really good, which was the second shot, 44.5 on the land angle. Great, yeah. nice high attack angle, 3.2. So just by moving the ball further forward, we haven't changed the golf swing at all. We've moved the ball further forward and that's allowed your attack angle to be right in that corridor of where we would like yeah. it. Anywhere between three and five so degrees. that's probably going to give me a little bit more carry as well, isn't it? 100% going to give you more carry. That was 170 yards. Let's have a look at what we had before. This is where Andy would be doing all of this, by the way. So it's yeah, his yeah. fault for doing this. It's yeah. slowing us down. All that for a haircut. All that for a haircut. All that for a haircut. <laughs> oh, I love it. 157 was the average carry before. So from 170, so... 157 average carry, taking it up to 170. Mm. That's pretty decent in, yeah. in just a ball position. Choice, yeah. And just a ball position. And do you know what the thing is as well? When you, if you're just watching this back now, sometimes we think about we hit bad shots and we always go into the big movements in the goal swing and I've got a shallow or I've got to stop the over the top or I've got to stop the early release. Sometimes, that's so good. Sometimes what you've got to do is you've just got to think, well, what's my grip like? What's my ball position like? You know, what's my posture like? That was really nice. Yeah, that was a decent. Decent flight on that. 90, oh wow, okay, hang on a bit, hang on a bit. 178 carry now, 92 feet high, so it's your highest ball flight. Descent angle was 44.2 degrees, attack angle four degrees down. I'll just play around with my seven iron. <laughs> he doesn't need, doesn't need a driver anymore. <laughs> but actually a three wood for you would probably be better than a driver. That's my only thought on height. this as well. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. Now we cover a lot of that in our coaching plan, Ultimate Irons. Click the link down there to go and check it out. And I think we've proved that we don't need Andy, do we? Definitely not. Definitely don't need him. We'll see you soon.